Hey, fatty. Just eat clean. Just eat clean. Just eat clean, you fat fucking pig. Is the worst fucking weight loss advice you could give a fat person. We know this. Fuck. If I could just wave a magic fucking wand at every fat fucking pig and say eat clean and it actually worked, nobody would be fat. Fuck. Dumbest advice on the planet. This is why routine, routine on your day is more important than your fucking diet when you're morbidly fucking obese. Okay? You're never going to get a fucking morbid obese pig to eat fucking clean. Fuck. Okay, what matters is the fucking gym. What matters is a fucking consistent fucking routine. If your routine is consistent every day, okay, you're gonna lose weight. Doesn't matter if you're eating a fucking meal a day at fucking McDonald's. Okay? Snake diet fat man. Okay, I know for a fact. Okay, I'm not saying he's not gonna fuck up, but if he goes to the gym every fucking day, and hits that one hard set, and then eats a meal after the gym, and fucking gets his snake juice in during the day, and on the food, and after the gym, gets his salts in, he's going to lose the fucking weight. The only way he will fuck up is if he stops going to the fucking gym. Okay, the diet has nothing to do with it. Okay, nothing. Okay, no one's going to fucking tell somebody like that to just eat clean and have it actually work. You think he hasn't tried eating fucking clean? You think fucking every fat ass hasn't tried eating fucking clean? Yeah, clean food, less palatable, fucking more volume. We know this. Okay, we know this. Junk food's not what gets somebody morbidly obese. It's no fucking structure on their fucking day. That's what gets them morbidly obese. Being shot in. Okay, not going to the fucking gym and hit that fucking heavy ass fucking weight for one set. Fuck. That's why going to the gym and hitting that one set training routine is so fucking crucial. Because it creates a situation where it keeps the whole day in line. Then it doesn't matter what the fuck your one meal a day fucking diet looks like. Okay, the structure is more important than the fucking diet. The only thing with the diet that you need to do is make sure you're chasing your protein. Okay, somebody that's as fat as Snake Diet Fat Man. Okay, somebody that's as fat as him. He's going to lose weight on a huge calorie count. Okay, two pounds a week is fast enough. Doesn't matter how fucking fat you are. Two pounds a week. Week after week at a minimum is fast enough fucking weight loss. Okay, this is another problem with all these fat pigs. They're in fucking panic, fucking desperate ass weight loss mode. Okay, once you settle into a routine that you can trust that doesn't have a difficulty factor of fucking 10 fucking million, something you can do every day that will yield a weight loss result is how you're going to dump the fucking weight over time. The fucking routine. Okay, one of the best routines is going to be a fucking meal a day diet, working out fasted, one hard set. Tracking your fucking lift, eating your meal a fucking day. Okay, that simple. Chasing the protein. Okay, getting in as much protein as you can in that meal. If somebody like Snake Diet Fat Man, Matthew Westwood, subscribe to his YouTube channel, Snake Diet Fat Man, the only way he will fucking go backwards is if he doesn't stick to that fucking routine. Which the most important part of that fucking routine for him is the fucking gym. And hitting that one set. Okay, if you take the focus off the diet and you focus on something different where you can make progress, the diet ends up being an afterthought and you just end up losing fucking weight. That's how it works. Okay, the fucking food, the fucking food is fucking minor detail. There's motherfuckers out there that stay fucking lean all year round on fucking trash. Okay, how the fuck are they doing it? Okay, you know what? They're not fucking food addicts because food addiction is bullshit. All it is is your fucking structure in your day sucks because you're a fucking lazy cunt and you don't want to face the world. You don't want to face judgment. Okay, you don't want to go to the fucking gym. Okay, the diet doesn't mean shit compared to your fucking day-to-day -day routine 
a routine that you can hold on to. You fat pigs don't need to chase crazy weight loss numbers. Two pounds a week. Two pounds a fucking week. I keep telling Matthew, no matter what the motherfuckers are saying, two pounds a fucking week is fast enough as long as the weight is going fucking down. Going backwards is a fuck up. Going down's fine. And that means if you're losing two pounds a week, that means there's going to be days where you're fucking at the same weight. So, who fucking gives a shit? Who fucking gives a shit? I told Snake Diet Fat Man, as far as his YouTube channel goes, it will blow up as long as he's posting every fucking day. The speed of his weight loss isn't going to be more attractive to fucking getting more subscribers. It's a consistency that he has with the fucking videos and getting in the fucking gym. Do you think he's not going to get a pile of subscribers if he's losing two pounds a fucking week? Of course he is. Fuck. He's throwing around fucking weights in the gym like fucking nobody else on YouTube. There's nobody morbidly obese like him on YouTube that's throwing around weights like that. Fuck. That's the goal. That is the fucking goal because as soon as you're grinding on diet without some other goal like going to the fucking gym and lifting some heavy ass weight, you will fail. Okay, there's nothing wrong with aggressive dieting, cutting carbs, shit like that. But if you don't have something else that you're doing, you will fucking fail because you are grinding on diet and that's your only focus is tunnel vision on your fucking diet. When you just need to worry about structure, things like OMAD, things like maybe two meal a day, things like eating at the same time, things like going to the gym and lifting some heavy ass fucking weight. That's how you lose the whole fucking thing. That's how you lose it all. Okay, there's never been a fucking morbid obese pig in the gym. There was fucking 500 pounds that went to the gym every day for a year. There was still 500 fucking pounds after a year going to the gym. Because it's the structure and that fucking carries through to the other habits. What will happen naturally, the fucking diet will get a little cleaner. Okay, they need to get one thing right. It's the fucking structure. The structure of the day is fucking critical. Snake diet fat man. He can't eat before he goes to the fucking gym. If he starts doing that, he's going to fuck up. If he stops going to the gym, he's going to fuck up. Okay, if he's not drinking his fucking snake juice and keeping his electrolytes up on the cut, he's going to fuck up. Those basic fucking things. Those basic things for all you fat motherfuckers. Okay, rules to the structure of the day matter more than your fucking food choices. Fuck. If the food choices mattered so much, I'd be fucking morbidly obese right now. I've been eating trash for weeks. 200 pounds, 200 pounds, 200 fucking pounds. Okay, in fact, I gotta try to keep the fucking calories high enough to stay at 200. Or I'll start losing weight. Eating trash. So obviously how important is the diet if I can't get morbidly obese eating a fucking... 3,500 calorie fucking meal that's trash every day. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Okay, to get morbidly obese is because your day has no fucking structure and you're hiding from fucking society for the most part. You're scared to go to places like the gym and lift some heavy ass fucking weight. You can't keep structure on your fucking day. Okay, you have no other side goals. It's always diet. And losing weight as fast as fucking possible. Shut the fuck up about the fucking stupid fast weight loss. Two fucking pounds a week is fast enough, motherfucker. Bodybuilders don't cut that fast. Just because you're morbidly obese doesn't mean you gotta lose five pounds a fucking week. Especially if it's gonna fuck up the structure of your day. Okay? Snake diet fat man. I want him eating close to 3,000 calorie a day. Do you think he's going to lose fucking 10 pounds a week on a 3,000 calorie day diet? No. Can he keep structure? Yeah. Because that diet gives him fucking juice in the gym. The one set in the gym is the most important part of this whole fucking thing. Period. Period. People just can't get this through their fucking head. Okay, the whole thing with the one hard set and going to a fucking public gym. That keeps the structure in check. And if your structure's good, you'll lose the fucking weight. Okay, it's not just about hitting one fucking set. It's not about that not being enough fucking exercise. It's nothing to do with any of that shit. It's the fucking day-to-day -day 
motherfucking structure being the same. Anybody that has a consistent day-to-day -day routine would never be morbidly obese. Ever. They're not grazing all fucking day on food because they got structure. Okay? Going to the gym every day, hitting that fucking one hard set, it makes it easy to fast all day because you got something to fucking look forward to. You're not just grinding on your diet, waiting to eat a one meal a day diet, for example. Fuck. Even the people that are eating a zero carb diet trying to lose weight. You're going to fucking fail if you don't get some other goals. The best one is the fucking gym. And the best way to do it for idiots is one fucking set a day. Okay, one set a day on a body part. Done. And track that shit. You go there and hit that hard fucking set. It teaches you to be intense so you're not just a fat fucking pussy. This is the whole fucking psychology behind this. Why do you think I've been pushing to do that one hard fucking set every day? Because it creates structure, which will get long-term weight loss results. So you're not just tunnel vision on your fucking diet. That's why I see so many people saying, oh, Matthew will never be able to lose weight on junk food. Of course he will, if he sticks to that fucking gym. And again, telling somebody like him to eat clean every day ain't going to happen. He's not going to do it. So you work with the fucking parameters he know he can stick to. And if he quits at that point, then he's just not fucking giving an effort. That's his fucking fault. If you have a good structure, then you still just fucking quit. You just don't give a fuck. Especially if the routine has such high adherence that a child can do it every day. Fuck. Fuck. That's how people fall off the wagon. Their fucking daily structure goes to shit. And that's why some of the best routines are very simple. Okay, like you can lose weight on different diets, but that's why one meal a day works very good for fat people. That's why going to the gym and hitting that one hard set works very good for fat people. You don't have to think. Okay, it's very simple. If you fucking fail, it's because you weren't trying at all. Stop fucking focusing on diet and telling people to just eat clean. Shut the fuck up. That advice, any asshole can give that advice. Just eat clean. Just eat clean. Fuck. And they'll do that for fucking two fucking days and break. Because there's still no structure like a meal a day diet. Like going to the gym, hitting that hard set. There's no fucking structure to that. Okay, people can stick to that on raw willpower for a while, then they'll fucking quit. The diet doesn't mean shit compared to fucking structure on the day to get long-lasting fucking accumulating weight loss results. Two pounds a week is fast enough. If people are riding your ass because you're only losing two pounds a week, which is fast as fuck weight loss, even if you're morbidly obese, those people are fucking idiots. Those are the exact people that will get into a fat person's head thinking they need to lose weight faster, putting them on the clock instead of the fat person being fucking happy with consistent fucking day-to-day -day weight loss. You know how many motherfuckers I've seen? You know how many motherfuckers I've seen lose fucking stupid amounts of weight in 30 days and gain every pound back? Okay, on every diet? Okay, on every fucking protocol? Okay, most of them. Because they had no structure and they're running on raw willpower. Okay, weight loss is weight loss. Any weight loss is good weight loss. Weight gain is bad. Two pounds a week is excellent fucking weight loss speed. If you're losing it faster than that, that's bonus. A super fat, morbid obese person should be able to consistently lose two pounds a week without trying very hard on a one meal a day fucking diet and go to the gym fast and hitting that fucking one hard set of heavy ass fucking weight. Until next time, stop fucking eating, fatty.